Now you see me, now you don't. Now you see me again, and now you see me too. <laughs> I'm Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Now you see me too, directed by John M. Chu. This is the guy that directed Step Up to the Streets and Step Up 3D, which I really did enjoy those films. I used to watch them over and over and over again because of the dancing, not because of the acting or the story, but the dancing was quite good. But he also directed G.I. Joe Retaliation, and that movie wasn't that good. He also did Jim and the Holograms, and I didn't see that movie, but I heard it sucked something serious. But anyway... He is back for, not, well not back because he didn't direct the first one, somebody else did, but John M. Chu is back to direct Now You See Me 2, and I really did enjoy the first film other than the very, very, very end of the film, and I will be spoiling the first film, I won't be spoiling part two, is when they find out who the eye is and Mark Ruffalo reveals himself and then they go in the Ferris wheel and the little a trolley thing and just kind of fade away into never 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 land or whatever i really wasn't that that part kind of ruined the film for me but overall i did enjoy the film i thought it was very entertaining and very funny i loved all the magic tricks and you know making people look over here and you're doing something over here all that was fun and now you see me too was even more fun it was a very 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 fun film even the majority of the cast came back except for that main girl um, she left for some other reason and the, they had to write her out and they wrote another character in and the new character the new lady horseman that they brought into the film was actually pretty good she didn't have that much chemistry with the rest of the characters but she definitely did have a lot of personality and she did stand on her own she was a strong character I, even though i wanted the past actress to come back I wasn't sitting there watching her like, man, she sucks. I want the other girl to come back. No, she was very good. And the film picks up exactly for, for, the, for the most part where the last film left off, and that's good. And, of course, there were some people put in jail, like Morgan Freeman and um, the other guy, Michael Caine's character. So characters may want some revenge or something like that. And, you know, whether they do or they get it and all that good stuff, you just have to go see the film for and to judge it for yourself. But... Um, the, the journey that they put us on was very entertaining and I really did love the film. They stepped up the magic to uh, a whole nother level. And also, um, you know, you have the four horsemen and Mark Ruffalo that are these master magicians and you think that they know it all. But, you know, there's always a magician or a group of magicians or whatever that may always be a step ahead of you. And that just gives the film stakes and makes me interested in to see who is pulling all these strings from behind the scene. And, and that's, I mean, and that's just, besides the characters in the story, I mean, that's why you're there in the theater, because you want to know. So you're drawn in, you're engaged, you're ready to know what's going on to, to where if, if all this is actually real magic or just a hell of a lot of clever pre-planning. Uh, pre and like I said, you just have to go to the theater to see it for yourself. Uh, there was another scene in particular that they had all these cards and there was uh, flipping around cars and doing all these these tricks that and that was real cool it was real fun i love to see all the magicians having to think on their feet at the last minute that was very entertaining the only thing that i did not like and i'll be honest is i mean they they, they the film started out with morgan freeman and he has such a great voice i mean i know uh you know that i mean every ever since i was a little boy People have loved the sound of my voice. That's a Morgan Freeman joke. If you didn't get that joke, I'm sorry. But if you know Morgan Freeman and Family Guy and stuff, you got that joke. But the film starts off with him monologuing, with him narrating. And he says a certain line of dialogue that I don't want to tell you here. And you and you know that they're t twisting your arm, twisting your leg. And you think you know exactly what he means when he's saying it. But the film ends on that exact same quote. And it has su it's the exact same quote, word for word. But the uh, meaning behind it is a complete 180 than it was at the beginning of the film. And you're just sitting there like, damn, I did not see that coming. Some may find it clever. Some may be extremely pissed off about it. And that's where the biggest gripe of this film will come from is the ultimate ending. And they have multiple endings where it's like, ah, now you see me. Ah, now you see me here. And what's behind this curtain? And what's behind this curtain? It's too many damn curtains, okay? Just keep it at one or two curtains. But they have like 76 curtains. And you're already entertained and happy with what they tried to do or what they did. But then they try to reveal another curtain to where you're sitting there and you're like, wait a minute. If that's the case... 
what was the whole point of the entire film? Was there a point? I don't think there was a point. I mean, and if there, if if this was your end game, if this was your goal, this could have been settled much easier or whatever. And I was sitting next to this guy that was another critic, and I was like, man, did that ending make sense to you? And he was like, I, I think it was pretty pointless, as you're probably thinking yourself. And he was like, yeah, it's a fun film, but it has a pointless ending. And yes. I'll go ahead and say, Now You See Me Too is a great film. It's a lot of fun. And overall, I enjoyed it a lot more than the, well, I don't want to say a lot more, but slightly more than the first one. But the ending may piss you off. The ending may just say, okay, this, I mean, they they literally could have just shaved off the last 30 seconds or whatever. And, you know, I would probably be giving this like an 8.5 out of 10, maybe a 9. Well, maybe not that high, but um, the ending may... Uh, frustrate you a little bit and if that's the case I'm sorry well I'm not sorry because I didn't write the film or direct it but I'm sorry if I'm the one that gave you the news but anyway if I had to rate now you see me too out of a 1 out of 10 I would give it a 7 out of 10 yes a 7 out of 10 but wait guys that is just my opinion okay I mean have you seen now you see me too do you want to see it have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you didn't like the video, that's fine. I'm not mad at you. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up. Since you watch this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. So become one of my subscribers. Get all the content that I have to provide in the past and in the future. Also, if you want to find me on other platforms, you can. You can go over to the Facebook page. You can go to Instagram, Twitter, and all that good stuff. And guys, share the video. I promise I'm not going to get mad if you share the video. Uh, I, it, it'll be our little secret. I won't tell nobody. Peaky promise, share the video. But anyway, guys, thank you again for tuning in for my opinion slash review. For now, you see me too. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.